Severe weather possibilities seem to be increasing for Thursday, and I'm concerned about the afternoon and into the early evening, even into the overnight where we could see areas of heavy rainfall. But now is the time. Make sure you download that Arkansas Storm Team weather app for warning notifications and for uh, video updates often throughout Thursday that will keep you updated on that situation. Let's go straight to the computer models. Right now, it's a low wind risk, but I expect that to move upward. Let me explain what's happening. This is brand new model information on this Tuesday morning. Uh, moisture increasing and a few showers Thursday morning. But when we put this new model into motion, look what happens at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. You see some thunderstorms beginning to develop in eastern Oklahoma. And then they move into western Arkansas. This is the time that I think that we're going to start to see the threat for severe weather increasing around mid-afternoon. For western Arkansas, high winds and hail, those are the main threats. See, many areas not getting anything, but it's western Arkansas at this point. And remember, models are never perfect. You just cannot take them uh, literally and say, oh, there's going to be a storm right over Yale and Pope and Logan counties. No. Uh, but look in that general area, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It really ramps up after that where we see a couple areas, according to this one model, 6 o'clock, areas of heavy rain, thunder, lightning, and instances of high winds and some hail and you can't rule out an isolated tornado. By 8 o'clock, and this, what this looks to me, what the model is doing, and again, this is just one computer model, you can't take it literally. What this is showing me here is a damaging wind threat, in my opinion. Uh, also, uh, hail, and again, you can't rule out an a, a isolated and a brief tornado out of this. But that's at 8 o'clock, and then after that, I think things... There's still a severe threat at 930, but you're going to see a transition from that wind hail threat over to a heavy rain threat during the overnight hours on Friday. So that's Friday at 2 a.m. And most of the moisture is out of here by Friday morning. All right, so this is instability, okay? This is the fuel for thunderstorms. Just like the gasoline that powers cars, you need gasoline that powers thunderstorms. And where thunderstorms tap into that, they go. And when you see these values well above 2,000, that's quite a bit of instability. So you see low, high, extreme. So what this is showing you at one o'clock in the afternoon, do you remember that this is the same computer model? And again, you, what the computer models are going to vary just depending on which one you look at. But this is showing you it taps into that energy, it develops and diffuses that energy. But it's severe and it has plenty ahead of it to tap into. So you can see that thunderstorm development and once you're, you see how it zaps the energy, those storms. So this is at seven o'clock. This shows you as plain as day where it's storming and raining and where the energy has been used up and where there's still some remaining. In fact, where there's still a lot remaining. So that's at 7 p.m. So if this model is correct, if, and I'm sure we're going to see different variations from one run to the other, from one model to the other, this threat would start to wind down for northern Arkansas, but exists for central portions of central, eastern, and southern Arkansas. So that's at 7 o'clock. And this is what I'm talking about. Notice how the instability levels come down as you go further into the evening, and then it transitions to a heavy rain threat at that point in time. So these are the threats as I see them. Severe winds, 58 miles per hour or greater. We're going to put that at a medium threat. Severe hail. That means hail one inch in diameter or greater, where thunderstorms occur, medium threat, low tornado threat, and now I think the flash flooding threat may be ramping up just a little bit. And the Weather Prediction Center has already put in a low risk for excessive rainfall on Thursday, and it wouldn't be out of the question. And again, that's especially late Thursday into Thursday night, where flash flooding is particularly dangerous at night, but it wouldn't be out of the question to see uh, a, a flood watch issue. Uh, to take into account that. So right now, I think that there will be a watch issued, whether it's a severe thunderstorm watch or a tornado watch. I think that's going to be issued on Thursday for much of the area. Uh, I think that it will be mainly during the afternoon and into the early to mid-evening hours. And I think what you get towards 8, 9, 10 o'clock, you're going to see that transition from the severe threat over to the heavy rain threat. It's Tuesday. Things change as they always do. But I, as I have done for uh, almost 20 years, I'm going to continue to follow this for you. And I want to thank you so much for your trust and loyalty. The Arkansas Storm Team, K-A-R-K, 
we will be there for you. This is nothing unusual for spring. We get these storms in Arkansas. So this is a very typical spring system, but we know they can cause problems. And so we just want to make sure you know what's going on. And we'll be there with you every step of the way. Thank you so much. And I'll keep you updated.